How you all doing? Uh, just a bit of an update on the uh, lock burner, or should we call it our uh, shed burner down? Or uh, let's take a look at the pros and cons I've learned about the uh, shed burner down. Uh, those people that have seen the uh, shed fire bit in the other video probably didn't see all this removed, so I removed because I removed all this and then videoed what it looked behind it. So we will see that in this video. So anyway, let's get on with it. Stop right there. Before we start, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to a fellow YouTuber. And this channel is Bad Bikes. Not Bad Bikes, Bads. And he donated me. This. It doesn't work. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got to get it working. But he did also give me an electric lawnmower. and some electric edge shears. So thank you very much indeed Andrew, much appreciated. And at the moment he is doing a project which is, uh, I think it's the 600 Bandit. So if you're into bandits or you're into people messing about with motorbikes, which obviously you are because you're on my channel, go and take a look. And in fact I'll leave a link in the description for Bad's Bikes. Thanks again Andy. I was uh, in here thinking, why does it keep getting so smoky? Then when I come to reload the fire, I realised my shed was on fire. I'm going to have to take all this to bits and work some else out to stop my shed catching on fire. Whew, okay, so I've dropped that panel down. Oh my god, just get some light. <laughs> oh my god. I put that wood that metal plate around it thinking, yep, that'll keep it protected. But I think what I've got to do is cut two metal plates out on either side and make this wall metal. But I think I've said it in a previous video, I'm not happy with this there because all the heat is at the top of the shed so what I want to do is put it in that corner on a concrete slab imagine if I went into the house and thought oh I'll just go and edit all this video out go do a bit of editing come back out and there'll be no shed left <coughs> caught it just in time anyway it won't be the first time I've moved a shed down the first one was when I was in my twenties. But that was made of plastic and uh, steel frame. And I had a, what was it? A Yamaha RD 250. And I burnt it to death. <laughs> and that involved a gallic gas eater and a petrol tank. And I thought, never again. But here we are. Oh wow, as if I didn't have enough stress building the bloody engine. So, let's wait till that goes out. Bed. Think what I'm going to do. Well, we leave them alone. Okay then, so this is a few days later, as you can see all the logs have gone, we've had plenty of use out of it, uh, there's no scorching of the metal up there, uh, I did put a bit more bandage around the flue pipe and the actual box, I put another metal skin all the way around, so it's uh, two layers thick this side, two layers thick at the back, Two layers thick at this side. Yeah, put a little kickboard all the way around it to stop all the uh, ash getting underneath the legs. 
it's all good to get out so now that will be easier to sweep up so what are the good bits and the bad bits about having a log burner in your shed well obvious reason you could burn your shed down that's the first uh, bad point uh, all the bad points are the really mess it makes if you put a wind in it to view through you have to clean it every time you make a fire uh, then you have to clean all that crap out well, the bad points obviously uh, you've got to make a big hole in your shed see some people putting them through the roof but uh, yeah I can't understand why that gets so hot and they've just got a rubber gasket on the roof but everything's fine maybe it's because mine's uh, not so big a diameter I don't know so they're the bad bits, uh, the good bits, keeps you nice and warm obviously. Some people would say it's bad but uh, chopping wood up, you know, it's quite therapeutic, gets rid of your anxieties. And uh, if you chop it up like I chop it up, you'll end up with uh, muscles like on a sword, nigger. Get to the chopper! Uh, and other good points are it's all free it doesn't cost you a penny to burn wood from the woods that's if you've got a local woods uh, like I say I do want to make a concrete floor over there and have the oh, standing over there because sometimes the cinders do fall out the bottom and they uh, could end up setting my shed on fire if I don't keep a close eye on them uh, there is a guy on uh, YouTube called the Wiltshire Man and he goes camping in the woods and he's got a, a log burner from Amazon it's just like a square long box that's where I got the idea from for this and he puts it in his tent and he cooks his tins of beans and stuff on it and his sausages and bacon and he's got his Flue like this going straight up through the tent and he's got tape around it around the tent material and uh, that's why I thought that would be perfectly fine just doing something like that on my shed but no for some reason my shed caught fire and his tent doesn't weird or what So overall, am I happy with the log burner? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, I'm definitely happy with the log burner. It's very warm. Very warm indeed. In fact, it's for me perfectly splendid. So there you go, if you enjoyed the video please uh, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing and uh, pressing that notification bell because then if you press the notification bell you will get notified when the video comes up of me restoring these. tell you now it's coming up on Saturday so don't miss it or you'll be sorry because if you don't watch next Saturday's video I'm gonna blind you and if you don't need a thumbs up I'll blind you so yeah stay well stay safe and I'll see you on the next one I see you in another life, brother.